Mac to Bywater Ridge and I'm just having a look through and trying to see what I think we need to improve at the moment. So, um, we're a little bit low on bot components, but I'm not too worried about because we've got loads of bots. I'm actually thinking that we might pause a couple of our bot assemblers. because so we've got a lot of bots and we're not using all of the bots that we've got. So yeah, I'm going to pause a couple of those. We can then build up a bit of a stockpile. Um, explosives is okay. Extract is still really quite low. Um, and bad water is still really quite low. So... Gears are low, but I feel like we used quite a lot of those lately. Um, so, yeah. Grease is still very low as well. Um, so, bad water extract and grease look like they could do with a bit of a boost. Um, I'm just wondering how inefficiently our centrifuges are running. So, 39 percent 45 percent um because we've got five of them but they're running really inefficiently so let's let's start off by at least making sure they're prioritized by the haulers um and we've got 400 odd bad water we've got a bad water tank there which is pretty close to those we've got that bad water tank so we should probably prioritize that by haulers um we've got that extract tank there but obviously they're just not making enough extract so okay um maybe we just need to to see how that works out because I feel like five centrifuges should be enough. Centrifugi? What's the plural of centrifuge? Oh, my brain goes to random places. Um. Yeah, you you can be something. It can be logs for now. Um. So this is this has dropped the level of this quite nicely we need this to come down a little bit more and then we're going to replace this with a floodgate um similarly to this so um what i might do is then adjust one of these so one of these doesn't drop quite so much so that we're not letting huge amounts of water out let's keep blowing stuff up this is this is just going to be a reoccurring thing for a while mm. Mm. we didn't think that through did we i'm not sure why i've got explosives placed there to be honest i guess it's just because i dragged it in a line across there i'm wondering if i should blow that out as well Why not, hey? Um, but I'm going to blow this up. Blow up, blow down. I've been awake since uh, just after 4 a.m. this morning. So, yeah. Hence, it, it's now 6 a.m., but hence the slightly random brain path. Um, I woke up with my, my head hurting. I'm, I'm still in a hotel. I go home today. Um, I just didn't feel like driving home so stupidly early. Um, so I'm playing video games for a bit. And, well, I want to have breakfast before I drive home. In the, the same hotel that had the crappy breakfast that I mentioned earlier in the videos this week. Um... I'm going to see if I can pick some better options for breakfast this morning. Um, but yeah, I want to grab breakfast before I drive home. So I can't do that for a bit. So just finished recording 
this week's mega build video and now I'm doing this video um yeah so get that done um I'm gonna get that done these guys could really do with something to do I guess um but I feel like they're kind of in a bit of a holding pattern um I wonder with how we've adjusted. I really want the water to be flowing through here. But I would kind of like for them to be growing some trees. Um, but I don't really want to be artificially irrigating somewhere. Although they're going to have to really, aren't they? With the length of droughts that we have. Um... You can see the evaporation, can't you? And evaporation is not a bad thing because it's going to be taking it out. Bad water is going to be evaporating as well. Um, yeah. Sorry. So, brain is running a little bit slow this morning. What we were starting to do was to refill this area. So, I think what would be sensible would be to take decisive action um no to actually do something useful um why don't i go outside and do something more useful instead if you're not from the uk and not from a particular generation that sentence probably makes no sense. If you are from the UK and you are from a particular generation, you're probably remembering a TV show from your childhood. And that's okay. That's okay. So yeah, we want to get rid of these. Hate that you have to click on them individually and you can't just oh, i don't think you can just use the delete tool right but if we want to terraform this area we need to remove those so we can start to put terrain in here That is the plan. So there we go. That'll do a job. That'll do a job. Uh, let's speed the game up a little bit. Whoever it was that commented about my gravity batteries, I don't think these things have moved once in the entire time that they have existed yet. But you never know. One day they might. Um... the random bits of path we've still got quite a lot of excess power so i'm wondering whether whether it's worth building another number cruncher at this point to keep stockpiling science for the future um when we don't have such an excess of power. I mean, there's plenty of options for me to, to, to generate power in other ways in the future. So, um, and while they're sorting that out, we can continue to work on this project from here. No, but yeah, my 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 thought is we just fill this whole thing in and just create a nice big plateau next to the power source, which is going to be our new um, uh, 
industrial area. Sorry, I could not find the words. Um, yeah. Sorry, that's a that's a thing with how my brain is. All right, those are going in. That's in. So let's detonate that. Um, do I want to build? So if I put a path to there and to there, we could get down there and we could actually blast all of that down to the same point, couldn't we? Yeah. Why don't you do that? Why don't you do that? Um, they placed... They have... Wild on beavers. We are then going to have to wait for them to do this little bit, which will be a bit slower, but that's okay. Um, I didn't come up with anything for them to do over here, did I, in the end? No, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Um, that's okay. They can just hang out, do whatever they do while they're not working. Um... And guess what it could do is um, if we built that that they could come and cut down some trees, couldn't they? There's a decent little stand of oak trees there that will need replacing so there we go we can pause the builders to free up some bots to do that um i guess we could even do we need to export logs not really Maybe we just build some more storage for logs here for now. Yeah, let's do that. There will come a time when we need some more construction capability. Um, so the main thing that we want to be doing with this is is re-greening the map and. Um, I guess the way that we can be thinking about doing that in the long term is once this is water, we put floodgates in here. We can control the release. Aha, aha, right up here. Delete, delete. They can still get to this, can't they? Yes. Awesome. We're going to do a landscaping double flood gate like that and then we are going to attach the stream gauge and the stream gauge is all the way down here go and then the logic we want is 0 0.6 0 0.75 so 0 0.6 0 0.75 I know we get a little bit of flooding but it does seem in the long term to work okay should we make that on 0.7 I'll open a little bit earlier um, and then I'm going to adjust this one to only drop to a half. And then this will be uh, two and zero. So what this will do is when, once this has ample water in it, 
it will start dumping clean water in from here. So we'll have clean water coming in here, clean water coming in here, and that will really help, I think, with cleaning this up. Um, I would quite like to drop a stream gauge in here. So to do that, we would need to we could do it by building off the end of a bridge i guess uh rather than building a really ugly random looking path we're just going to nudge the staircase that way a bit and then we're going to build a two by gonna be enough yeah it should be that should get us out over it's another diving board. At least there's water underneath this one. Um, and then once that's built, I'll work out where we can put the stream gauge because they can drop, they can throw supplies down and they will magically fall into the correct place. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do now is... Do I want to do that yet? I really don't feel like doing that yet, setting up all of the water pump pausing i think that's an off-camera job um all right let's detonate you let's drop the extra triple explosive there i think we can safely detonate those because they can put that one in from above oh that was that was not the effect i was hoping for that's okay that's okay I'm kind of hoping more that they pull water through from there. Um, and obviously we've now disconnected this island, which eventually we will also probably want to blow up. Or down. Uh, I mean, we can get into that still, so that's going to be... More double explosives. Uh, triple explosive double explosive double explosive and then we can uh we'll just c carry on tidying that area up are they working on cutting trees down now um they're not because i haven't swapped to this district even though it's a bot only district to use bots in new construction there we go so that'll do that job Brilliant. So, yeah, I do wonder. Because that's a really large body of water. And then I've just removed a restriction. Um, but bear with me. I've got an idea. But yeah, they can they can build that from above. Um, I'm not sure if I want to keep this as a big lake because of what I'm pondering um, is whether we build some dams here to try and hydrate this area. I might wait and see what the contamination looks like in here now. I mean, it, the, the water is hydrating a decent area, so maybe it's not so bad. Let's fly back over here. Right, so that's done. So what we can do now is, because we're up to, we're, we're full on dirt storage, so we should start lobbing dirt in the hole, basically. Um, we'll be able to recover those when we get to them so let's start from about here maybe yeah and just as we've just been doing the same thing on the mega build series just filling in massive chunks of dirt to uh reclaim land and uh and it's a really cool feature, isn't it? Being able to build new... I guess it's... 
This is the only kind of colony building game that I have really got into playing in depth. Um, but I guess it's a common feature in a lot of colony building games that you can build land. Um, and I just think actually the... Uh, was, there was another one that I played, which I don't remember the name of, which is really helpful. And in that, you couldn't you couldn't change the terrain. Um, yeah, you know that colony building game where you couldn't change the terrain. Yeah. Hopefully, I really cannot remember the name of it, but there we go. That'll, that'll keep them busy for a little bit. And yeah, I think this this will be a nice new industrial area for us. We've got, you know, huge amounts of power on tap um, and loads of space. So let's let them continue. Um, so that's in now. So this is... Wow, it's only 5% contaminated already. So yeah, I think what we're going to do is um, put in some landscaping. We're going to put a dam across there because now the river's not going to be massively deep. We could deepen it, actually. Um... And maybe we do that. But obviously it's fed by a big body of water. So. Yeah, maybe we deepen it as well. Once we've got the dam in. Because that's going to help green up quite a nice area. Um, yeah, I like that idea. So we will start to um, I'm not going to make that any deeper. I think we'll start from about here. Um, if I can select I want to make like a diagonal line. That's not at all diagonal is it? No, no it's not. It's a very straight line. Um, well spot what well, Good, well done. You you spotted that too. Um, more like that. That that's the kind of line that I wanted. That's what diagonal looks like, isn't it? Yes, 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 it is. Um, but yeah, I think if we make this deeper, so that it can hold some water during a drought, that'll be a good thing. We could always, if we needed to add a mechanical pump to take water out of the, this reservoir to keep it fuller. Yeah, I like that idea. Awesome. So that's going in. Um, our extract situation has not improved. Our bad water posi position has not improved because we have emptied this. Um... So my view is that what we want to be doing is first, I'm going to leave them. We've got enough bots. Um, first thing I want to do is have it so that during um, during normal occasions, what kind of words am I using today? we have enough pumping capacity to at least stockpile some bad water because it feels to me like a lot of the problem is we're just barely keeping up with our requirements um so i think did they one two Okay, could I build another one over that? Probably could. Um, I 
No. No, no. Uh, so we put this in. Okay. Behave game. My brain is not awake enough for you to be messing about. Uh, so let me doubles or triples. That's triple still, isn't it? Doubles. Doubles. Singles. Singles. Cool. So what we'll do is we will build more bad water pumps. I've got a whole load of um setting up logic for things to do um, but I just need to remember to do that between videos I think I'm going to put a large storage tank there set to supply for bad water um, yep yeah. Because then the idea is that this is just to keep the supply topped up and it's really having to do, you know, a lot of work during the droughts and the bad, well, during the droughts. Um, and it's not capable of doing that. So we need this to be better, which this will enable. So um, what I'm going to do is make this a bit more of a priority so it gets done we've got plenty of planks and metal so we should have all of the materials we need for that um cool have we got a bit more explosives to blow up can they not get to that last one no i i do not care at this point i don't think Let's blow that up. We can always pick it up at another point. And then, yeah, we're going to delete. Select the delete tool to delete things. It tends to help. We're going to delete that. Um, just for neatness, we'll knock you out. And we'll knock that stuff down and then we'll just carry on cutting out that. Um, our water supply situation is significantly better now, which is nice. We've still got six days left of the drought. Things are still staying hydrated, which is great. We have wood, which is great. Um, we have food, which is good. We have all of the food groups now. We do. And most of the beavers are getting all of their food, which is pretty nice. We're up to 43 well-being. So I guess we need to do the other monument. And then it's in to fun stuff. I'm just wondering. The other monument needs power, doesn't it? But... If I were to think about placing it, where could I place it? Where it would be able to access power and affect the whole colony. I could actually put it there. And we could probably take and it doesn't feel particularly regal, does it? Building it on top of a warehouse full of dirt. Um, building it up here feels better, but then it's not really hitting all of the colony. Um, so the kind of the practicality in me says if we build it there, we hit all of the accommodation. We still have a few homeless beavers, but not many. Um, and I think I can tap power out of here so we can go, I think, 
don't know. I'm not certain. That, that this will share power from above? I guess the better way would probably be if I built it on here. That's only going to hit half of the accommodate. Most of the accommodation here gets all of it. I'm not sure how I get power. Can I? I don't think I can put a power connection. So let's test it. Let's test it. Um, so we would need to, rather than just guessing, because I hate that. Let's just chuck that on the top and see if it has power. I mean, actually, what I should do is put it where I need to put it and see if it gets power. Could be there. I don't know where these have power connections on the roof. Let's try a couple of places and see what happens, shall we? Um... We should make sure that these are obtaining and prioritized by haulers. Now, because we have obviously a lot of dirt, a lot of earthworks going on. Yeah, I want to make that, that is a high priority. Awesome. Did we get our getting that built? Excellent. Um, the dams are in. They're placing the explosives. Those trees have all been cleared. So let's delete those and we can unpause the builder's hut so we get things going a bit quicker. I'm amazed that this cleared so quickly down to 5% contamination. And it's incredible. So yeah, this district is pretty good for logs. Um, which is basically what they need for their power. So... have a little look have they built that yet they have not come on beavers so prioritizing the one above it should should have automatically prioritized the one below but we'll do that anyway um how's our i guess our bad waters because we're in a in a drought our bad water situation is low so um, I do realise that I have not really addressed any of the things that we were short of. We could do with some more storage for bot chassis by the looks of it. So they go in warehouses, strangely. Well, I think it's strange. I guess maybe not. Maybe you'd box them up. do that and chassis and heads then we want to prioritize them building these so we can actually see what's going on with the power in the roof And then, yeah, we'll stick that big monument in. That should give us a nice big boost of um, well-being. I should probably say at this point, I am a few videos ahead. Or they're only excellent. Awesome. We don't even need to build to the one. No, you can go. Um, so monuments. I am a few videos ahead at the moment. So, yeah. Your, your comments will filter through eventually if you're making comments about stuff. But as as you know, when I go away like this, I tend to record a few videos and get a little bit ahead. 
Right. I do think that now is the time as well to delete these. Yes. 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 I think we might put a few Lidos in there, actually. Um, so in in the random corner here, we'll plant a couple of bits of corn. But I think... Um, oh, there's swimming pools, not Lidos. Oh, there are only two. There are only three wide, okay. So we'll do swimming pool. And then, you know, after you've been swimming, you should really have a shower, so. Do that. And in that case, what we'll do is that. And we can do a couple of swimming pools there. There. And then we'll maybe put a brazier there and there. And let's stick a shrub in as well, shall we? A couple of shrubs. Yeah, there we go. Did I actually build the second? I did. Yeah, they're just. Just needs them to build the terrain block first, doesn't it? That's okay. Cool. So obviously they won't work at the moment because we're deep into a drought, but... Awesome. So they have not placed that block of explosives yet. I guess I have too many prioritized activities. Right. right. We're going to make you bots... Between videos, I'm going to go through and do all of the um, simple triggers, logic stuff. Um, I don't feel like doing all of that in another video. It's uh, it's not the most entertaining to watch, I don't think. And uh, you've seen me do it so many times. I, unless you think it's entertaining to watch. So we've got enough spare boss it doesn't matter that they're just sat there waiting for the bad water to come um i think we could start thinking about making the reservoir bigger but i think what we really need to be doing is actually just pumping enough that we're storing more um i'm actually going to put another bad water tank there as well i'm optimistic i know foolishly optimistic wow they're cracking through that job um although there's not much dirt left so oh random staircase i left behind so let's place Start placing some more dirt. We'll start at the very bottom. I guess. Which is way down there, actually. All right. There we go. I think this is going to be quite a bit of work to actually get this all filled in. Um... I think this is going to take them quite a while. Here we go. So. But I think it's going to be worth it because it's going to give us a very nice big area to, to set up industry in. And we kind of need that now. So, because although we're, we're we're setting up site B, 
my plan is that kind of operations will be based out of our main area still so um because the the, the so i have said but I'll, I'll say it again because i know how i do things um and I, I really like having goals when I make, when I play video games. Um, and so the goal for, for, for on here is to make as much of the map naturally green during the temperate seasons and plant a load of trees and just make it look nice again undo the damage of the humans um, across the rest of the valley and I know maybe that terraforming in large industrial areas to do that seems a little bit counterintuitive but needs must and all that we, we, we need to be able to create the industry to support that desire. So, yeah, so they'll get on with that. Um, that's in, that's going in, that's in finally. So we can delete that now. Um, if I want to pull that down, then we're going to need to b build a ladder there next. So let's do that. Um, we'll run the path along there. Let's delete this path um we're gonna delete no we'll, we'll, yeah yeah delete that put that there that across there and then I'll come out to there that's i'm just going to delete this tree Um, and then we'll just do that rather ugly temporary thing and then we'll do double dynamite there and triple dynamite all the way along here and it's double dynamite there awesome Yeah, we're using up all of our spare beavers with all these water pumps that I'm building, which is good. Obviously, they're kind of sat doing nothing at the moment, but the drought is over, so the water will be coming back. Let's head down here and delete a bit more path. And put in a bit more explosives. I mean, I could probably have gone more than one deep because I think there's room in the map to go more than one deep here, but one might be enough. And here comes the water. There we go. Wow, that was quick. That's what she said. Sorry. I'll get my coat. Kind of keeping an eye on the time to uh, go get to my breakfast. I see there's no space for the logs now. Why would you bother going up there rather than Beaver Logic? Uh, although I am 
going to delete those and those and they'll have to come back and get those logs at some point. Treat that line of path. There we go. Let's go check on stuff over here. So, monuments going in. Obviously, we're going to use up all of our supplies of stuff, but that's fine. Getting this nice new plateau built. Water's coming back. Beavers are going to be pumping. Given our water supply is full, I think we can probably pause a bunch of the new water pumps. I think that'll be okay. These are getting pumping, which is good. That's been built, which is good. Hopefully we will actually get some positive movement on our bad water supply. Um, this is filling up, which is nice. That's all been built, which is good. So a place you don't build. Do you build explosives? Although they don't grow, I think you plant explosives, don't you? I Come on, beavers, do your thing. Here comes the water. It is now, um, have a look. Only 3% contaminated. It's almost like, you know, fresh tap water, depending on where you live. There we go. But it's going to be interesting to see how how much it hydrates with the dam in place. There we go. That's been built. So excellent. I think we can go all of the way back now. So let's put that in. There we go. Yeah, it's going to take a while to fill because it's quite a big volume of water. Now, the benefit of that is it should take quite a while to evaporate. Right. Um, that's an eight. There we go. Uh, very nice. That needs to refill now, obviously, to rehydrate. Um, here we go. We've got fresh water flowing in here now, so we will have had a little flood over here. Um, although this one opens a bit earlier, so... Yeah, I'm guessing this is quite quickly going to... Yeah. We have, I believe, almost... We have clean water. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. Um, I'm thinking that maybe our next little project is going to be to um, come across here. interesting and not obviously not really watched this to see how it behaves but what I think we're going to do is a V 
Levy. And dam across there. So that this starts to hold water in as well, because that will then help green all of that area up. Well, that's flooding over the top of our dam. How dare you? How very dare you? Um, I guess now this is clean. We could maybe think about replacing this with a set of dam blocks as well so that this gets water in it. And maybe we deepen it first, like we've done here. Maybe we keep the step, but just drop it all down. Keep that little feature, but then drop the rest of it down like two levels. So let's. I'm going to need to import some extract. Yeah. Which means we need a tank for it. Manage distribution and extract. There we go. So I think if we fill, if we hold water in here, this will have a much bigger effect on greening this area up. But we are definitely making a difference. And obviously it won't instantly dry out when it turns off. So, yeah. What was you? Yes, yeah, so our bad water supply is improving now, which is good. Um, we have a little bit of extract, which is also good. They are hammering through building that terrain, which is great. Um... I'm going to prioritize a little bit building that other bad water tank. Really liking how this is starting to behave. That is quite a change, isn't it? That is quite a change. So, I, it's interesting that this is flooding. I guess it's just the rate that we're putting water into the river system now. And maybe this was a wetland before. Um, but yeah, this is all nice and green now, which is Awesome. Um, and it almost feels like with the way the terrain changes that we should have not put the map there. No, select the delete tool. That's what happens when you try and look at the clock as you select things. Bad tide approaching. Um, what I'm thinking is if we go back to here, we could make an even, we could make another one which is going to be a block higher. So come across here. I guess it's still three deep. 
but it's three deep starting higher up. So, and that might help with this area staying green, what I'm thinking, because the water will be another block deeper. So, obviously you seem to have a few issues with flooding it through there, but it's the natural terrain, so maybe it's just what it does, um, you know? Or maybe I'm just dumping way too much water in. This originally water was flowing off here as well as all being pushed into here. So maybe we need to start to allow that rather than having it all come into this. Maybe we need to restrict the flow a bit so this gets deeper. And stores water. Because this could be a couple of blocks deeper so what we could do is have some double floodgates coming across actually let's do them directly along our line of this We're going to need to get down here and then that will allow us to hold more water in here and then we can control it coming out through over time which will be good and I can maybe restrict the flow rate a little bit So that this fills up. Um, we actually have bad water stored now, which is nice. So that is working. These guys are doing a great job. I'm not going to actually start building on this until we've got it pretty much done. Are we looking for dirt? That's food. Uh, we're basically using it as fast as we can make it now, which is okay. Um, these are at least running, so that's okay. And we've got e we've got some extract, so that's good. Uh, how's our new monument looking? actually almost built so we just need gears which i'm guessing we're just using them as fast as we can make them yeah i don't think i've ever had a save where i've been able to just constantly have enough gears i'm not sure that's possible in this game over here we've got Do I need to note there logs? Okay, now they're coming to build it. Awesome. But those have been built, which is great. So that's going to make this lake deeper. And then we can let that out through the bad tide. And I think probably next time, and I'm kind of tempted again to maybe dam across here. Put the dam in the wrong place, I think, or across here. I'm thinking lots of little dams to just try and, like this, to like boost the water level in different spots, because we've now got this whole area nice and green. 
So I think next time we'll get a forester in here, get this planted up. My plan is not to cut it down. I want to just have lots of trees growing. Um, Yeah, maybe some of this needs to be mangrove swamp. It's time to get up. You just heard my alarm go. If only I've been awake for three hours. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to force the import of extract so that they will at least build this one. But what that alarm does mean, I think, as the bad tide starts, is probably we are going to call it a day. So I just want to get to the point where the sun's up and the water's flowing so that I can get another screenshot of the rather lovely waterfalls. So let's pause the game there. Pause. Yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Um, if you have, click the like button. Let me know your thoughts on how we're progressing with Site B. Um, I think we're at the point where we can start to plant a whole load of trees in this area now. Start making it look nice. Um... I'm really pleased with how quickly we've managed to transform this area. Um, saying um a lot again. Yeah, we'll get this place looking nice. And then we might switch over to trying to start fixing. Start working on fixing site A. Because we've got bots to maybe be working on both. Anyway, that's it for today. See you next time.